Welcome back to my channel. And so today I'm gonna to be showing you a few different work looks that I have been loving recently, and hopefully you can incorporate these into your wardrobe. I'm sure that you already have a few similar pieces. You don't need to go and buy a load of new stuff. You can use the things you already have that are similar. I'm just showing you how to create certain looks. If you do like what you see and you want to purchase anything similar, I've linked all of the items that are still available. And if they're not available, then I've tried to find something similar. <laughs> If you're new to my channel then hello, welcome, my name's Sarah, I'm a doctor in the UK and I make videos about my life as a doctor and I like to make videos about fashion as well so here we are. Now a lot of you have asked me to do what I wear to work videos and at the moment I'm working in A&E, I wear a uniform, however when I'm not in A&E and I'm working on the wards then I do wear smart casual clothes to work. I know that a lot of you who follow me don't work in medicine or healthcare and that you have office jobs, so hopefully these kind of outfits will inspire you. I don't know if you guys use Pinterest, but I use it loads for outfit inspiration and I've realised that my Pinterest feed is just full of silk shirts. They look so feminine and womanly and I just feel like they work really well for workwear looks as well as for casual. And every time I go into a high-end store, I always lust over the silk shirts, but I've never been able to find one that is exactly what I wanted. And a few weeks ago, I had an email from a brand called Lily Silk, and I get lots of these emails from different brands offering to send me things. And most of the time I don't take them up. However, I had a look at the Lily, Lily Silk website and I was really blown away by how many different types of silk shirt they have and I just felt like they were real specialists in what they were doing. So I decided to take them up and uh, accept a couple of their shirts just to see what they were like and if I liked them then I would include them in a clothing video. So this is how the Lily Silk items are packaged. I think this is really nice. It looks really plush coming in a box. And when you open it up, it's all wrapped in tissue. So you get that like high-end experience. So I'm really glad to have finally got my hands on one. For my first ever silk shirt, I wanted to go for something that was really classic and plain. So I went for the white color. And as you guys know, I'm a sucker for a white shirt or a white blouse. Um, I always think that having a bit of white or cream or ivory next to your face just adds a bit of extra light to your face and it's quite flattering as long as you get the right shade for your skin tone. I'm already thinking of ways I can layer this like under jumpers and go for that really preppy look or have it unbuttoned quite far down wear it with a pair of skinny jeans and a skinny belt and some pumps. Nice blazer. Oh so that's my first shirt. Very classic. And then for my second shirt, I went for a blue colour. Oh my gosh, this colour. Oh, that's so nice. I went for a tie neck blouse. I love a tie neck blouse. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. I'm going to wear that all the time. The fabric quality is really nice as well. The other reason I really liked this shirt and that I chose it was because on the shoulder, it's got a little bit of ruching but it's not that over the top ruching that's kind of in fashion at the moment. It's just a tiny bit, which is just enough to add a bit of definition to the shoulders. So let's see the first outfit. So here I'm styling the white shirt and for work as a doctor, I always have to have my sleeves rolled up because we have to be bare below the elbow as part of the uniform policy so that we stay nice and hygienic. So I am just rolling my sleeves up. I roll it all the way up past my elbow in one and then I fold over the bit that's already folded as you can see here and that just gives a bit of a nicer fold rather than rolling and rolling and rolling. This one just looks a lot neater as you can see. I am so so impressed with the quality of this and this is definitely true to size based on the sizing reference from lily silk so just go with your usual size and i would definitely recommend wearing a nude bra with this if you want to make it look extra chic i know it's white but don't wear a white bra your white bra will definitely show through one feature of the lily silk shirts that makes them look a bit more high-end is this bit that covers over the buttons 
One thing I'm working on at the moment is to try and buy less fast fashion and to fill my wardrobe with classic, good quality pieces that will last and that I really love. So for my first outfit, I'm pairing the white blouse with these trousers that I bought from ASOS. And I love these trousers. The first reason is that they have a stretchy waistband and they have this bow tie detail at the front which accentuates the waist. Secondly, they've got pockets, which I love. And for work as a doctor, pockets are almost essential. You've got so much stuff you need to carry around with you, especially your phone and your pager, and it's always useful to have pockets. If you're a medical student or a doctor, then definitely get yourself some stretchy trousers. I'm always moving, doing physical examinations on patients and things like that. So I need some clothes with stretch. So these are perfect. And they're also great for that after lunch bloat. They are slightly cropped at the ankle. And they have like a peg leg kind of vibe to them. I would wear these with some ballet flats or some loafers. The second top that I was gifted by Lily Silk was this duck egg blue one and I chose this one because I thought the colour was so beautiful and really unusual for a silk top. It's got this tie neck which is kind of giving me like an 80s vibe like you can imagine like an 80s businesswoman wearing this with maybe like a shoulder pad power suit and I'm here for that I love it. So I've left the very top button of the blouse undone and I've left the tie neck ever so slightly loose and I think this makes it look a little bit more relaxed and it shows off your neck as well. And for the first way I've styled this, I've put it with some navy trousers. These are another pair that are really stretchy, they're from Gap and they have seen better days, they are a bit faded but I still love these trousers. And for this first look I've done it with a French tuck, so I've just tucked the blouse in at the front and this would look good if you're wearing it kind of in a more dress down environment, maybe your office is quite relaxed or if you have it for dress down Fridays the second way I've shown it is with the sleeves rolled up, fully tucked in all the way around and with a skinny belt and this is for a more polished look. I have styled it with a pair of my favourite shoes, these are from Clarks and if you follow me on Instagram then you may have seen me showing these shoes before in some of my highlights, showing what I wear to work, what I get up to on my shifts and these are just so so comfy, I always recommend Clarks shoes. I also think this blouse would look amazing tucked into a pencil skirt and this is definitely something that you could wear for work but also wear out for like drinks with the girls or going out for brunch or something like that. It's just something that adds that extra bit of femininity and shows that you've made a bit of an effort with your outfit. Okay, so this outfit is definitely rolling with that neutral theme that's so in for the last couple of years. and. Unfortunately, this is not a look that I could wear to work because I can't really get away with wearing pale colours all over because there's just every chance that I'll get something down on them at work. Yeah, I'm often taking bloods or dealing with bodily fluids, so I don't really want to wear an all cream outfit. But if I worked in an office, this would definitely be an outfit that I would love to rock. Here's a little trick for you to make your outfit look a bit more high end. So when I wear a pencil skirt I tend to put a skinny belt over the top of it and I think that makes it into a bit of a statement piece. So if you've got a skinny belt that doesn't quite fit then you can just push the buckle to the side and tie the end of the belt into a knot like this. This is something I do all the time and it means that you can have belts that don't fit but you can still wear them. So the belt I've worn is actually a really pale pink, but I think you could get away with any sort of neutral colour, maybe a taupe or a tan as well. So yeah, I think this outfit looks really nice as a winter white, but again, you could wear it in all over another colour. So you could wear like all greys, all blacks, um, whatever you want to do to make this outfit work for you. I've also paired it with this splash out piece. Now this is a piece that I've been thinking about buying for a really long time. It was quite expensive. I bought it from Ted Baker and I got it when it was in the sale. Now there are a few good dupes for this that are more affordable and I will link this one and the more affordable ones down below. But I am so pleased that I purchased this. I feel like it's a coat that's going to last me forever, hopefully. And I am so pleased with how it looks on. I love how it looks over the top of these cream colours and I think this will look really great with loads of different outfits. I wouldn't take this to work with me because I don't want to be leaving this hung up on the, on the wall or dumped in a corner somewhere which is normally where coats end up in hospitals. 
I've paired this look with these wedges which are again from Clark's and they've got quite a nice low wedge. I actually find these more comfortable than a flat. If you haven't got a shift dress I would definitely recommend getting one. It's a way of adding a piece of clothing to your wardrobe that switches up a load of outfits and you can just chuck on a shift dress over so many different tops and it will absolutely transform your outfit. Like a lot of my clothes, I bought this second hand when I was a student and I think it was something like £3 or £5 from eBay and it's originally from Gap. And again, this has pockets, so really useful. These little zip pockets are real at the front and they will hold a phone or your pager without really anyone seeing because this dress is quite loose fitting. And like every work outfit, I roll up the sleeves. I think this outfit would look really good with a big checked jacket, like a big checked blazer. Um, I don't have one of those, so I can't show you, but try and imagine how it would look. And if you have one, then definitely pair it with this outfit and let me know how it looks. I always wear this with really thick black tights. I've actually bought the fleece lined ones from Marks and Spencers and they just keep you so snuggly and warm. I've also worn this outfit before with a black polo neck underneath and it kind of just looks like you're wearing a dress that's long sleeved. That's a really good look as well. I'm wearing this with a pair of black riding boots but this look would also look great with those black loafers I showed you or if you like to wear heels then chuck on a pair of heels and this will look fab. Okay, so for this outfit I have on this striped top and you could just wear any striped top. I particularly like wearing a black and white one with some black trousers and black shoes just to keep it looking, keeping the look really simple and classic. This top was one that was given to me by a friend when we did a big clothes swap and I love it. I especially love that it's bare below the elbows which means I can wear it for work very easily and I love the flaring on the sleeves. Then I've paired it with these black culottes which have got a tie waist. You may have seen me wearing these in other videos. These are my French Connection ones and I adore this pair. I particularly love this outfit because the culottes make it so comfortable. They feel really nice on your legs and they look really classy with that cinched in waist. So even though you look very chic, you can be very comfortable as well. This is an outfit I've worn many times to work and I can tell you that by the end of the day I am still comfortable so I would recommend if you're a medical student or a doctor get yourself some nice comfortable tops and some culottes. You won't regret it. So I wear this outfit with a pair of black loafers, the same ones that I showed you before. They've got a tiny little nice heel and these ones are from Marks and Spencers but I know that there are a lot of brands that do similar ones and I think the nicest ones I've found are from Dune so I'll link those down below. If any of you want to get your hands on some Lily Silk shirts I would 100% recommend them and I have got a discount code for you guys to get 12% off your order. It's Nichols12 and I will leave that in the description box below. Okay guys, that brings me to the end of this video. I really hope you've enjoyed it and that you've got some inspiration for some different outfits that you can wear to work. And I would love it if you have watched all the way to the end of this video, if you could comment down below and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you want to see more of my content, then don't forget to subscribe to see more and I will see you in my next video. Bye.